So as promised a few weeks ago, here's the unboxing of my anti-static or ionizing guns. And we're gonna focus on the three that I've got, which is the Ionizer Pro from Boss Auto, the Star Finish from Mixplast, and the Iron Star from LTAC. So this is the Mix Plus Star Finish. This is the their ionizing or anti-static gun. What do you get in the box? You get a three year warranty with this gun. Comes with a little cradle for it to sit on. Obviously I've used all of these, so uh, it might be a little dusty as you can see. But uh, you've got the charger cable and you've got the actual unit itself. Um, and that just sits on the cradle and you can charge it. It also has a magnet on the side, so you can stick it onto any metal surface when you're working. You need, uh, it. Um, you need to put your airline ad adapter onto the bottom here. That's where your air will come through pull the trigger and that activates inside everything inside. It is rechargeable, like I said. It's not ATEX approved, so this is not one of the ATEX approved ones that I'm gonna be showing you, but it is a very good gun and I've used it for several years and I've had no issues with it. Um, the only thing I would say is, and it's not a negative, but these two little pins that you can see down here they need to be changed every sort of, uh, I would say four to six months, depending on the use um, and how clean you keep your gun or where you keep it. Um, I lock mine away when I don't use it, so it, it, pretty, it stays really clean and away from any sort of overspray. So don't have to change those pins too often. They're not a lot of money, they're sort of between 25 and 30 pounds to change them and really simple to do, they just pop out and the new ones pop in. Uh, battery wise, with the way that I use, so probably sort of two, two cars a day to two areas that I'm working on, um, I would say the battery maybe will last between four months to, well, probably say three and a half to four and a half months depending on the usage. So really, really good battery life on that. So that's the star finish, um, Iron Tech from Mixplast. It's available. Oh, just quickly what you also get in the box is obviously the instructions on how to use it um, and a little, little bit of extra bump about it just shows you there the iron eyes, the electrodes so yeah, really really simple piece of kit to use but really effective um, and the registration for your warranty is done online So the next one is the Boss Auto Ionizer Pro. Again, another anti-static gun. Uh, not much different with these really to the Mixed Plast. It's not ATEX approved, so theoretically you shouldn't be using it in an explosive area. But for a lot of us whose workshops aren't ATEX approved, there's no reason why you can't use it. Um, and I have been using it. So again, same sort of principle as the Mixed Plast. You've got your air that comes in, your trigger to release the air out of that little nozzle, and there's your ionizing pins on the top, two of them. The added bonus to this is you've actually got a laser on the bottom, so you can fire, when you, when you pull your trigger, you can see where you're targeting. Um, it's not charged up, so you can't see the laser act working, but there's a diagram of it. What do you get in the box? Well, you get the unit itself. You get the charge pack. You don't get a cradle to put it on. So there's no cradle to rest this on. There's also no man magnetic on the side to put it onto, a, onto any of your work surfaces, your metal work surfaces. So that 
you have to then put it back into your cupboard or back into the box or somewhere safe to store it. So that's probably a little bit of a negative on that one. Uh, it comes with a one year warranty versus the three year warranty on the mixed plast. So quite a big difference there. So that's the Boss Auto Ionizer Pro. So the final anti-static or ionizing gun that I'm going to talk to you about is comes in a nice little plastic case, strong plastic case with some foam protection on the inside and it's the iron star. It's the one you'll see me using now in the majority of my work. Very compact unit. You've got the actual generator here which creates the neutralizing ions. So nice and simple. It doesn't have a battery because it's not rechargeable, it doesn't need it. What happens is the air comes in through your airline into the motor here, which this creates a turbine, which creates your ionizing particles and neutralizes the panel, the static, any static buildup on the panel. All you have is your trigger, so you can regulate your airflow going through. The only thing that you need to make sure happens when you're regulating your airflow is that this light there's a little green LED here. When you reach the right pressure to go through to, to engage the turbine, this will turn green. And then you know it's generating those neutralizing ions. So that is the Iron Star from LTEC. And that comes with a one year warranty. So when you put all three guns side by side, you can see the difference in sizes. The largest one is going to be the star finish. Then you've got the Pro Iron, the Ionizer Pro, and obviously the smallest and most compact is the Iron Star. What is static? Static is basically an imbalance in electric chargers on a panel. This can be created by simply touching the panel. Every time you touch wipe, tack rag down a panel, you're creating a charge in that panel. A simple way to show you this is by using this thread. You can see how this bumper has a lot of static in it. This was just from wiping it over once. It pulls it all, the thread almost vertically towards the panel. So as it's pulling this thread towards the panel, you can imagine what it does in a spray booth. It could pull contaminants onto your paintwork. It also will, if you're spraying metallics, pull the fleck, metallic flex down onto the panel unevenly, and this can affect the finish of your job. So for demo purposes on this panel, I'm gonna use the Iron Star. It's, it is now the go-to anti-static gun for me, because it's just so compact and easy and I don't have to worry about charging it. So literally plug in the airline into it, and as I pull back on the trigger, you'll see the air will come through, this light will illuminate, that means the turbine in here is working, creating the neutralizing ions that will be put onto the panel, killing any static on the panel. It doesn't take a lot or a long time to do, but you can now see with a piece of thread how that is no longer drawn towards that panel. And just using that simple process will make a large difference to your pair. It means you save time on having to denib a panel afterwards because contamination has been drawn to it. It means that your metallic flex are gonna land better because there's nothing repelling them or drawing them in the wrong direction. It's gonna, they're gonna land neutrally onto the panel. It's just an all round super additive to your business. Right, just to finish this off then, I hope you found the introduction to these guns useful. I hope you found the little demo that I've just done eye-opening and explains exactly what these guns do. I obviously only use the Iron Star for that, but all of these other guns will do it. I just wanted to finish up on weights so you can understand a little bit more. The unit from Mix Plus, the start finish, is the heaviest. This is about 900 grams. The Ionizer Pro, is 600 grams. 
I would say the stat gun, it's been a while since I've had it in my workshop, but it, sort of remembering the weight of it, it falls between this one and the star finish. The, I can't talk about the static zap from the States because I've not had that one. The lightest is the Iron Star, and that is at 350. Um, the guns range in price from 700 pounds up to just under 2,000 pounds, or with the stat gun, you can get it on lease. But for me, the one that probably comes out tops on this is the Iron Star, purely because it is a compact unit. Don't have to mess around with charging it, even though the battery life is excellent on all, all of these guns that I've used. Um, I just like the idea of that there's, uh, and it's more robust. If you're working in a workshop and you've got lots of people picking up your tools in the spray booth, you don't want to run the risk of anything breaking. And I, I feel that would probably be a more all round unit to have. Uh, any questions, please feel free to DM them over to me. And as always, I'll get back to you with some answers. And uh, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, please check my page out and give me a follow at Damage Undone. Thank you so much. Bye. All right, today I'm doing a short introduction video of the static zap gun. Um, doing it for dent fix equipment and also for weighing a damage undone. Um, the gun comes in a case. Um, we did add a regulator to it, but it comes with basically these two pins in here that are safety pins because believe it or not, this gun has a high voltage. Even though it's the ionized system, that pin can emit a high voltage out of it. So therefore they want you to have the safety pins which don't allow it to have the green light come on. So when you pull the trigger, you'll see a green light come on. And that means that it's emitting power to the pin. When you go to service it, because it comes with one pin in it and one spare pin. And the pins over time will get dirty as the more you use it. So depending on how much exposure the gun has is how much dirty the pin gets. It'll get, start getting dust fragments attached to it and that takes away from the strength of the pin. And the way it works is that the air passes through, there's a filter on one side that captures some of the dust. It blows through and there's a deionizing rod, which is that rod in there, a pin, emitter pin. As it comes out, it makes the static air become de-energized. As you blow it across the panel, you'll be waving it from back and forth, back and forth, just like if you're gonna spray clear base or sealer. Um, I recommend that you do this right before you get set to spray, clean the car, tack it, blow it with this, and then go to paint. And each step that you have through each different uh, substrate that you're gonna put onto the vehicle. There, again, you have the safety clips that you'll put on this when you go to change the pin. I'll show you how we change this. You just push the two clips in, and then you pull out the, the snout. Inside is the emitter pin you'll get a pair of needle nose pliers. Up towards the top of the pin, you'll grab it and pull it down. Then you do the same way when you go to put it back in, just being careful that you don't bend the pin. And again, basically you're gonna have the gun regulator set at 50 PSI. Don't go up any higher. They said the gun has its maximum uh, strength at that. If you go lower, it, it slows down some of the deionizing air. If you go higher, it's not as strong and you don't get as, as efficient. And basically that's about it. Again, it comes with the case. It has a charging pack. Um, we probably charged this maybe once in the last three months. And um, again, it's a very great value. Um, it's real simple to use. Um, and if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'll be more than willing to help you. Thanks.